We're here to promote the SJIB and JIB wage negotiations. We're here to try and improve the wages and conditions of people in the construction industry. During COVID, many of our colleagues suffered and actually passed away because they were asked to get into work. So we're saying quite clearly for the construction employers, get round the table and let's have a decent wage increase for right across the board for all construction workers. So that's what it's all about. This is one of the biggest sites just now currently in the central belt. Fez, one of the leading electrical contractors, are the biggest employer on here for electricians. We're talking about well over 100 uh, electricians. But the interesting thing is that there's about six pound of difference if you go through an agency. Everybody's leaving to go agency for the money. I'm on 18, 14 and hours and a bird's back in here. There's agency boys upstairs on £24 an hour doing the same job or less work than me. It's the Sparks mates at a working agency are on £18 an hour. So for 14 pence less, I could come back in a few weeks as a, a Sparks mate. So where's the fucking thing for me to be here and working in a, in a pair of Spark when, when you could go elsewhere and, and get the same cash or, or more cash? I mean, £24 an hour is a, a big jump. It used to be the agency boys get a wee pound there, a £1.50 there and that made up for holiday pay and stuff, but it's £6 an hour, they're different. Hey, time for change guys, time for change, let's get this construction sorted out. These are getting about £6 yeah. or more. Yeah. Would, would you go direct if you were a decent wage? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. It's just my water. Eh? It's just my water for us. Just no worth it for you because yeah. that's one of the issues we want to address and that's why we feel this is what the campaign's all about. To get that rate up to a level where it should be it, sh it should be possible for you to say, no, I'm books in here rather than go through an agency and maybe you've got a bit more secure employment through that process. <laughs> and we're trying to raise awareness. For too long now, the guys have had the choice. Again, direct employed their agency, but they're going to the agency because the agency's paying them their money. So what we're saying to employers, to keep a successful and a fully trained workforce, you need to pay the guys the right rate. After a decade of stagnation, we're looking for a change. We're looking for good conditions, good pay, good training. And what we're saying to the Scottish Government also, they have a Fair Work Convention. Well, we're saying to the Scottish Government, get that implemented in construction in Scotland. There's lads working in this construction site, 10-hour shifts, they get one break in the whole day. It's absolutely shocking. You go back 20 or 30 years, you get three breaks a day. This site is only a matter of maybe 400 yards away from United's Scottish office in Glasgow. And uh, we have yet to see uh, or hear of anybody from that office attempting to organise this site. They have a manager who's a health and safety manager with Multiplex and he doubles up as a trade union rep. It's a complete fraud. Unite should be ashamed of themselves. Glasgow well, Unite, there was uh, Paul Mooney, he was one of the Unite guys uh, that was there. Uh, he was there for the whole time I was there anyway. He, uh, he always was like, trying to get to the things kind of evened off with like, certain places. Did he deal with the Sparks? Uh, aye, he did. He's employed by Multiplex, yeah. but he's like the Unite representative. But in the Southern General, he was the UCAT representative, so he just he just wears a different hat, whatever job he's on. Is that sound trade unionism? Well, I don't know. I mean, if a, a rep just follows a company about and uh, you're employed by the company. Biased, right, it, yeah. Okay, so we're, we're looking for, for, as I said, to grow the union on these sites and get a, a accredited rep on that that will look after the, 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 the various trades that we represent. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's just employed by the, the main contractor. Yeah. Yeah. Multiplex, apparently Unite the Union in Scotland has a recognition deal with them. So the questions we've got to say to Unite Scotland construction officers is how the hell they were a scenario Whereas agency labour earning £6 an hour more than an electrician who is directly employed under SJIB rates, terms and conditions. That is outrageous and it's time for Unite Scotland to get the finger out and start organising construction. My name's Greg MacArthur and along with Joe Pisani, both of us are your SJIB National Board representatives. We are both electricians and we are currently working on site so we fully understand the current cost of living crisis affecting everyone in this sector. We represent everyone's views.
of, that's a member of the SJIB at each and every board meeting. And obviously the main one that's coming up is the pay negotiations. We'll be approaching the employers at the next wage negotiations to ask for a substantial increase. We're trying to create change within the construction industry in Scotland because currently it's not working. It's as simple as that. So we're trying to enact the change, but we need everyone's support. If you want to know more, if you want to get involved yourselves, please, we are inviting you to come along to the next branch meeting at the end of this month, the last Saturday at 10.30am at John Smith House, West Regent Street, Glasgow. If you're a Unite member, you're entitled to come along there and raise your views and you can speak to me and Joan Pearson. If you're not a member of Unite the Union, come down to the last half of our branch meetings because there we can have an open discussion where we can talk about all the issues that the SJV is facing and we can move forward by a unified plan. So please come along, show your solidarity and get involved. If you join, fantastic. You can then get your vote in the wage negotiations that are coming up. We're trying to put pressure on people to come down to this side. Right. Okay. To get in there while well, I'm not standing out here, sit down in the canteen, speak to people, tell them what the issues are and hopefully they'll then join the union and then through that strength of collectivism we'll be able to kind of go forward, know what I mean? So, just scan that, try and do that. And if you scan, see some of your, your, your mates. I do it there, oh, scan no, that Just scan, and scan that, you'll see us a survey and all that, and, and, and you'll take it from there. But we'll be back down, we'll be back down to speak to you again. Okay, good, thanks. It's young to be on the wrong side.